Hey guys, so I just wanted to check out Android 7.1 Nougat here for the lovely OnePlus 3. Uh, this is obviously the latest software and I wanted to see how it ran on uh, this particular device. And you can see uh, we have uh, basically just uh, put this on the device and it is coming with a very similar UI to what you get with Oxygen OS, which is the stock OS obviously. Uh, but uh, a little bit different in terms of some of the features which I'll show you in this video uh, So this is brought to you by uh, the uh, The ROM known as the Cypher OS 3.1 uh, So this uh, comes with a system update area to keep it up to date uh, Which is quite nice which you don't always see on ROMs uh, The Android version as I said is uh, the 7.1 so basically uh, you'll see that we do have the uh, Nougat uh, features here such as the little cat that comes on uh, also your uh, like 3D touch uh, sort of functionality here which is very nice to see uh, not all apps I think uh, do you know uh, have that functionality but with the ones which do uh, have that functionality it can be pretty useful to set up like something quite quickly you know going from this uh, and you can I think you can even like drag a shortcut there you know if you want to do something even faster so that is pretty awesome uh, so we can just uh, have a look as well at some of the other features you get with this uh, particular ROM uh, and have a look in the settings so if we just go to the display you can see I think they've kept it quite stock here which is very nice to see that is part of the thing that I really do enjoy about uh, the uh, OnePlus 3 is they kept it close to stock you do get the uh, nugget uh, kind of menu here so you do have two menus I'm not 100% sure about that to be honest to me it seems like a bit of a duplication of the functionality but uh, some people might like that. Uh, I'm assuming you also will be getting the uh, multitasking, so we can just check that out uh, fairly quick here. So if you want to drag one thing there, you can, and one thing there, as you can see, works very nice and uh, smoothly here. So uh, that uh, is quite nice to see. Uh, if we just uh, have a look at the notification area, you can see we can put on all sorts of stuff here. Caffeine, Android Easter Egg is here as well, which is very nice to see. And uh, I think, do we have a like uh, display dimmer? I don't think we have the display dimmer, but we still have the ambient display, uh, which is good. So you're not losing that. Uh, really you can see some of the actual icons are circular as well like the pixel phones uh, so very good if you want that sort of look on your phone uh, let's have a look at the settings here so you can see we get uh, I think uh, the standard Google package here not the uh, the uh, Google assistant which I think we would like to probably see maybe this is it actually uh, I'm not 100% sure I might have to add my account into it first let's just have a look so we can see if we do get the uh, assistant here one two three four five that's not my password by the way I was just counting something so it doesn't look like uh, this is Google Assistant, but it's the standard kind of uh, interface here. I'm sure that you'll probably be able to get Google Assistant on a lot of devices very soon anyway. Uh, you know, it's not going to be a massive uh, kind of, you know, unique selling point of the pixels for very long, I don't think. Let's have a look at the camera here and see if everything's working. So for some reason you do get two camera apps with this. So you get this one which I think is more of the stock uh, one and uh, we get this one as well which is probably like the ROM one so you can take a pick you know which one you do enjoy more and you can see 
the pictures do work, which is good. And do the uh, video work? Let's have a look. So how do I go to the video with this one? There we go. Oh, that's good. So you can see that's working. And do we have some settings? So let's have a look at the uh, resolution. Get you 4K, which is good. Some of these ROMs don't have that. Uh, so it looks like the camera experience is all working, which is very nice to see. So I look at the lock screen. So you can see quite a standard affair here, nothing really to see there. Uh, so I look at the wallpapers. Again, very standard here. So I'm not sure what this is. What was that? That was nothing. Why have they got that there? So that's probably something a bit broken. So there's something called a lunar launcher on here, but I I kept it on the Google Now launcher. Uh, so that uh, you know you could probably check that out. But you can see there's some customization options here, such as the uh, status bar, uh, quick settings. Uh, so lots of nice stuff in the, you know, the settings here to customize to your heart's content. Uh, so I'm I'm liking this ROM actually for the uh, OnePlus Three. I've been wondering when Nuggets will be coming down on the device. We do have a new uh, OnePlus Three T, which on paper looks uh, pretty good. I'll probably get that in uh, when it is like available. Uh, but I wouldn't say you should really rush out and buy it if you've got a OnePlus 3. It's not a massive upgrade really. Slightly better processor and bigger battery obviously and a better selfie cam. Uh, I think the OnePlus 3 still has a lot of life in it. And if you, you know, put some Nugget runs on, uh, you know, you can get even more life out of it here. Uh, so yeah, just a quick little video here checking out this uh, particular Android 7.1 build. Uh, I will leave a link in the description if you want to get it in and give it a try. Uh, it looks pretty stable, I've not found any uh, issues with it. Uh, and uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.